I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's how to use two Q960 sequencers together to get up to six rows of output or sequences up to 48 steps. On most dual sequencer patches, you're going to want both sequencers to drive at the same speed. To do that, we'll use the oscillator of the first sequencer to shift the second sequencer. We'll just patch the oscillator output here into a multiple because we're going to need the oscillator for the envelope generators and over into the shift. Now when I turn on this oscillator, both sequencers will drive at the same speed and they'll be synchronized. With this patch as it is, we get three rows up here of eight steps and three rows down here of eight steps for a total of six rows. We can use the third row with the third row timing switch to control the length of each step. That'll give us two rows plus three rows, a total of five rows. To get a total of 48 steps, we're going to start by using the Q962 switch to generate 24 steps out of these three outputs. It does that by switching between the three outputs. So eight times three gets us 24. Now we'll shift that with step number one. Every time step number one happens, we'll shift to the next row. We're going to do that same thing down here on the second sequencer to get 24 steps out of it. And we're going to shift it with the first stage also. Now we have an output here which is 24 steps from the first sequencer and an output here which is 24 steps from the second sequencer. The next thing to do is to use the third Q962 switch to alternate between those two 24 step sequences. We'll do that by patching this and this output. Now this output becomes our 48 step sequence. We need to switch this Q962 with the first stage up here. This becomes our new pitch output. This will drive our oscillators and our gates are already driven by the oscillator output. We want to start everything at one step And here we go. Make sure to turn off the third row timing to get all six.